vlog number 13 baby we on vlog number 13 I'm going to a pond got me a frog and I'm guessing I'm gonna tie me a wobble head on I'm not sure yet um I think that's what it's gonna be though I think I'm gonna give me a wobble head on should be pretty pretty straight um I'm probably gonna give you guys a few tips on the wobble head how I fish it uh in ponds yeah i'm going to give you a few tips you can apply this at shallow water lakes you can apply this at lakes um but for the most part man most part for pond fishing um because i know a lot of you guys out there pond fish you guys like seeing me pond fish for, for some reason so um already got the white monster on deck because here at kicking their bass tv we don't play around gotta have it on deck gotta have it on deck because when we when we want to go fishing, we gotta go fishing. Oof. When it's time to go fishing, it's time to go fishing. You know what I mean? Mm. Probably not the safest. Closing my eyes while I'm driving, but it's all right. Oh. I'll tell you guys that in a second. Let's let's get down let's get down on the road. Ah, guys, what I was gonna say. If you follow me on the grammar and on the snapper. Instagram and Snapchat you guys know that I got pulled over by the piggy piggy by a cop um huh, funny story was I was actually delivering some wobble heads to one of my one of my customers um I was delivering some wobble heads to one of my customers I just got some wobble heads and everything because I ran out of stock so I just got him in, I was like, alright, I'll come deliver you some because he had a tournament this weekend. I believe it's today actually, which today's Saturday. Um so there was a stop sign in a neighborhood and I must have blown through it. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Um I must have blown through it. Or I didn't come, or I didn't go to a complete stop. It wasn't that I blew through it. It just wasn't a complete stop. And you know, I wasn't thinking at the time because I was in a rush and everything. And um, I was in that neighborhood, so I just wasn't thinking. You know, he said I was going like 35 miles an hour, but there's no way I was going 35 miles an hour because I was coming out of the cul-de-sac, and there's no way I was hitting 35 miles an hour. Um, thankfully ended up not getting a ticket. He didn't even give me a warning. Um, he let me go. And one week solid from yesterday, which is when I got the ticket, I will have my license for one solid year. Um, so my insurance to drop and everything. So he, he didn't give me a ticket and everything. And we were kind of like cracking jokes and telling stories and stuff. So he's a cool cop and everything. But, um, for a lot of you guys to look up to me, <laughs> That doesn't mean to go run stop signs. Note to self, note to self. Just don't don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I know you got you guys can look up to a lot of stuff for me and everything, but don't don't look up to that. All right. Uh, just don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright guys, how I'm fishing this wobble head in this pond. So let's throw it out there. By the way, this Revo Beast is just this thing cast amazing. Um so instead of working it like this, like this this applies to jigs and worms and ponds as well. Instead of working it just like this, barely lifting up on the bottom, 
and just slowly or just dragging it like this as you can tell I'm getting into a lot of stuff on that bottom doing that what I'm doing is I'm kind of reeling and hopping my pole at the same time that's what I really like about the wobble head is it's you you can work it slow you can work it fast you can do a lot of different things with it and so what I'm doing is I'm keeping it off the bottom um, every once in a while yes it is touching the bottom um, like when it drops in the shallow water but for the most part it is hovering above the bottom just swimming and why am I working it that way well in these ponds there's a lot of that grass and a lot of crap just nasty stuff in it so if you're gonna work it really slow or drag it you're just gonna get all that stuff on your bait the fish aren't even gonna see your bait or it might just be soft and mushy and you won't even be the fish won't even be able to see your bait so that's why I'm working it like this um, so I'm keeping it above the bottom to where the fish can see it um, and they'll just pick that thing up and they'll, they'll hit it like a normal bait it won't be like a really soft bite they'll, they'll usually wail on it um, just to stop the bait and its feet but don't be afraid to work it like this and you can slow it down you can slow it down a little slower you can throw it out there and just simply work it like this but you're still you're still reeling your reel decently fast but you're working a little bit slower so just depending on how the fish are that day if they're a little more active or if the pressure's a little high and they're not wanting to bite that well um just adjust it to how the fish are what the fish are wanting that day Alright guys, just now leaving, I did not stay long, um, it is brutally hot, I mean brutal, probably only there for an hour, I got some other stuff to do, I just wanted to get a little bit of footage if I could, I think you guys like these pond videos, so, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, and the support means everything guys as you guys know already I drew the GoPro winner um, The kid was all happy and everything which is awesome and I do those giveaways for you guys So I just like to thank you guys for the support. It's amazing um, I will be having more giveaways soon So stay tuned for that um, If you're looking for any wobbleheads or any kicking their ass TV gear or anything go to www.kickingtheirbasstv.com slash I will have the link in the description below um, where you guys can click on that and check out everything. So I'm working on the site. I'm getting a new site update and it's going to be fully updated and it's going to be perfect. Um, we are getting who rags made that will be made soon. You guys are on my grammar and my Facebooker and my Twitter. You guys have already seen the who rags. They look pretty sharp. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be slam pack pre-fishing for world finals and nationals in the next few weeks. So I'm going to try to get some videos out of you guys. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. That's why I kind of spammed right when summer hit because I was like, oh, I can get some videos done. It's going to be hard for me to in the next rest of the summer. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try, guys. I'm still trying to get three videos out of you guys a week. I'm going to try. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, check out the Ufollow Vlogs. Check out Chris's Schmelly's and my dad's Peekers. See you guys next time.